To understand the children of Africa, one must walk at least a mile in their shoes. 600 students participated in the walk, some with backpacks containing canteens of water in them. Well, a line of students walking five or six kilometers in Whitby isn't something that you'd normally see, but students are trying to raise some money to help Sierra Leone. And uh, we're getting the whole school to bring money and pledge forms and commission forms so we can walk five kilometers, so we can also uh, know how hard it is to walk outside your home and get water and bring it back to your village. Father Leo J. Austin is among the top schools in the Durham region, earning a 7.2 out of 10, according to the Fraser Institute High School Report. The biggest thing we're looking at is this idea of um, school not being preparation for life, but being life. And this idea that um, the, the best test or best assessment that we can do of our teaching skills is really not at the end of the semester, but in 15 years. When they're not chopping ginger root, students are improving their serving skills, learning about catering, small business management, and helping run the Austin Bistro, an in-school cafe for staff. I mean, we talk about the OSSLT and the EQAO, and I know sometimes that's why a school is deemed to be a good school. Yeah. But for us, it's this idea that if we're you know, thinking on the deep end and if we're doing good strong teaching and good strong learning and everybody's engaged and feeling part of a community, you will do well on those little tests anyway. For Toronto Sun, I'm Jenny Ewan.